Hey everyone, today I wanted to take a look at this Sonos IKEA collaboration with their budget bookshelf speaker. Now, I have a lot of Sonos speakers and I really love them. Uh, when this was announced, I was very excited because this speaker is only $99, which is half the price of their lowest priced offering, the Play One. This symphonic speaker comes in black and white. I went with the white. And unpacking it, it's a handsome looking speaker. It's fairly tall. I would say it's a little taller than a Play 3. And around back, there's an ethernet port and a power input and not much else. So it's a pretty minimal speaker. There are feet at the bottom here. And there's also feet on the long side. So if you wanted to lay it down shelf style, that is an option too. So there's feet there. And coming around to the front of the speaker, you'll see it has controls at the bottom, standard Sonos plus minus controls, and a nice looking grill. In the box, you get an ethernet cable, and you also get a power cable. Pretty basic stuff. Uh, there's also an included instruction manual, which is really basic. It just has a couple pages. So if you've ever used a Sonos speaker, it sets up exactly the same way. And peeling off the grill, you can see what's behind here. You see at the top there's a port, and the grill itself has a nice woven fabric. It's very IKEA-like. Turning it around, you can see there's a black plastic frame. And the speaker itself has a one-inch dome silk style tweeter and a small four-inch midwoofer. And you'll see here at the top there is a nice curved port. Now, what I really wanted to do is take this thing apart. So before I even turned it on, I decided I was going to take this thing apart and see what was inside it, because this looked like a fun Sonos speaker for tinkering. Now, I was looking for where the screws were. I peeled some of these feet off. There were no f screws there at all. So I was a little confused about how to get into this thing. And through process of elimination, I decided that the only other option, unless this whole thing was glued together, was that there was something behind these grill posts. So I figured I'd investigate. So I grabbed some pliers and really got in there and pulled and that thing came out. So that's what holds the grill pegs. And so then, if you look inside here, I was in luck. There are Phillips screw heads. So, actually, it turns out this is pretty easy to take apart. So, I went ahead and grabbed my pliers and I took all the posts out. So, these are all eight of the posts for the grills. And then I just grabbed a plain old Phillips screwdriver and took all the screws out. So there's eight short Phillips screws that you can take out of the front here. I won't bore you with the details of that. And there we go. That's all eight screws. So then I was really hoping this thing wasn't glued in. So if you get your fingers in there and you, especially if you get two in there into the port and you pull just the right way, you can just leverage this thing right out and there is no glue there is no seal tape or anything it's just plastic on plastic so pretty easy to get out once it gets started and then you just carefully pry it up along the sides be aware that at the very bottom there's a ribbon cable that connects to the control buttons on the front so you want to be really careful there not to pull this too hard so here's the ribbon cable this is the woofer uh, this is the tweeter and its connection and then you can see here a nice long port. Uh, and this longer curved port lets them tune it a bit lower than it would be able to be done with a straight port due to the cabinet depth. And remove the ribbon cable is pretty easy. Take the sticker off, fold back the little hinge, and then you can pull the ribbon right out. And pulling the woofer and tweeter cables off is super easy. Just slide them off. And you can see here, this is the important part of it. This is the Sonos computer, essentially, which handles streaming duties. 
Uh, it's also bi-amplified, so there's two amplifiers and a electronic crossover. And so that feeds separate signal to the woofer and tweeter. And up here you can see these antennas. So these must be for the Wi-Fi reception. And on the right-hand side, you can see where the actual AC power comes in. And there's quite a bit of space uh, in the back panel here. So this is not jammed packed at all. And a pretty simple module here. Uh, not as big as I've seen on other Sonos speakers. And taking a look at the front panel assembly, uh, you can see the woofer here. It's got a pretty beefy magnet structure on it. The frame is stamped steel. The cone is polypropylene probably. The tweeter seems to have a small magnet, so it might be neodymium. And here's another view of that curved port. And, you know, looking around the front, very simple controls, really clean looking design. And the port here again at the top. So, you know, overall, a really good value for $99 and a good opportunity for doing some really fun projects in the future. So stay tuned for some videos where I look into hacking the speaker to do some pretty interesting things. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.